Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 116. To the dealer shit we go. To BMW we go. And we are going to purchase this M3 E46 coupe. Cause yeah. That, that, that's all I got, just cause yeah. Say yeah! No, oh, no. Let's get in dark blue. That was the best looking color right there. So, here's my car. It's a good car. I like this car. Season play? Season play. The game's being very generous all of a sudden. I like it. That means we can finish up the freaking season play. You know, quicker. Anyways, we're doing the German Sportline Challenge, which is BMW M3 versus Audi A4. So. That's what we're doing in this segment. Here is the lineup of cars. Also, apparently the S4 also counts as pretty much an Audi 4 series. It is what the uh, requirement is. Yeah, so, bleh. Anyways, this is what everyone's driving. Stuff. Bimmers are gonna destroy, most likely, so. Here we go. <clears throat> to our first race out of four, we're going to Silverstone National for five laps. Cause can't get enough Silverstone. <laughs> At least I can. You know, since I'm not the biggest fan of Silverstone. Oh well. At least the National Circuit isn't that bad. Could be just because it's shorter. I don't know. Bimmer, bimmer, bimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so. Let's do this shit once we look at the starting grid. Starting in front of Evans, okay. Never know if I'm going to start in front or behind. I'm going to guess I'm going to start... Uh, starting in front of them consistently, considering I've reached level cap. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, if that ever doesn't happen. At least that last attempt, you know, actually gave me hope that this race is actually possible with this current setup. So, that's good. I mean, I do have one more, you know, upgrade tier that I could do with the tires, if need be. Just kind of would rather not... Excuse me, Rossi, can you not... You just fucking get behind me, kid. Calling Rossi a kid. I guess that's what I get. Instant karma. Fuck. Excuse me, Rossi. Oh my god. Okay, that one was mostly the curb pushing me out into Rossi. Although I didn't steer as much as I should have there. I was kind of worried about oversteer. Okay, well, um... Rossi is behind me now. In a very stupid way. Can I please, for the love of God, catch more and maybe pass him? Maybe? That would be, you know... That'd be nice. Ugh. I'm at least within slipstream range. Some fucking how. It's a long range. Turn, get out of turn, accelerate, don't slide. Okay, close the gap by about half a second this lap. Should probably a little less now with the straightaway here. No, about half a second. 
was a nice apex. Actually could have carried more speed, but, you know, what didn't think I was going to hit the apex that well. Go. I'm basically pushing this thing as hard as I can to just keep up with Muller here. So far, it's working. No, stop car. Two to go. Try to close the gap even more this lap to set up a hopeful dive on the last lap. That's what I'm looking for here. <clears throat> Just stay tucked into that slipstream. as much time as possible in any way po in <clears throat> as many you know non-cheaty ways as possible hello how you doing this is not the dive I was talking about and I'm not gonna clear he's gonna clear me back here because he has the acceleration advantage or he could be stupid <laughs> okay I guess that works I just gotta keep him behind me for an entire lap. Easier said than done. That Audi's fucking good. My car is not as good. It looks good though, at least. Well, except for the uh, the damage, but you know, the color looks good. Nice gap there. That's what I was looking for. So I have a safe run around this here. Sweeper, sweeper, sweep. Swabada. Okay, that took a bunch of tries. Like, a bunch of tries, but hey, I finally win. Damn, that was a difficult race. And that was just the first race, so. Take note that I have a higher PI here than the other E46. I put sport tires on this thing. Which is what gave me the ability to actually win this race, so. Yeah. Had to upgrade the tires. Oh well, it works. It works, it works, it works. So yeah, Muller's going to be the man to beat in this series because of, you know, his all-wheel drive hacks. But, shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. At least I'm hoping the next three races aren't, you know, too bad. I guess we'll just have to find out by going to him. Give it a wing, I'm not putting a wing on this thing. It's going to leave it as is. Oh boy, okay. All right, this one looks. This one's gonna probably be a little easier because it's Iberian, and there's a couple spots in this track where I get a good advantage on the AI. So, mostly the high speed part, with the uh, the. Well, I guess in this case uphill since we're doing the reverse course. So that section is gonna help me out a lot. So here we go once we load. Iberian International Reverse. <clears throat> and before this is actually harder than Silverstone somehow. I wouldn't be surprised since, you know, I'm going in here with slight confidence. And usually when that happens, the game's just like, ha ha, fuck you. Uh, let's go. So 
Oh god, excuse me. <clears throat> Holy crap, Yon. So can I win this first try? Can I win this at all? I don't know. Here we go. Of course, Miller shoots straight into the lead with his all-wheel drive launch. Rossi is taking the lane I wish I would I would like to take. Okay. Move back in. Gives me a chance to go underneath. <clears throat> Alright, Rossi is dealt with in his E92. Okay, that's that's probably too tight of a line there, but hey, it worked, I guess. Oh, diving underneath more immediately. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, there we go. We're in the lead. That took less time than expected. Go me. Oh, and now Rossi's going around. Rossi and Evans going around Mueller. I think Mueller was stuck in a situation where he had to slam on the brakes, so, uh... Mueller just went from first to fourth. What is Evans driving? Okay. Oh yeah, he's driving the other E46. It's a Bimmer podium sweep! Yay! I don't know when I'm gonna stream tomorrow, Harry. It'll be at some point in the afternoon slash evening. Time... I don't fucking know. Okay, so, as long as I don't really fuck up anything, I'm good to go in this race. <clears throat> Two down, three to go. And I'd be in. Like how the pit lane here is just fucking pretty much microscopic. Like, that doesn't even look like an eight-car pit lane. But apparently it is. At least I'm guessing it is. Miller's still running fourth, although he's right behind Evans. So there's a possibility that he might work his way back up onto the podium. God. Okay, we're good. Whoops. That was bad positioning in my car. Almost lost it. Thanks to the grass, but now we're good. And on to the final lap. Of this race. The five second lead over Rossi. Very good. Oh, Schneike's okay. We're good. Careful. Mm 
Alright, this was a much, much easier race than Silverstone. Holy crap. That was, uh... Yeah, that was like night and day in terms of difficulty. And we get the BMW podium sweep. Nice. Very nice. Take that Mueller and your fucking all-wheel drive hacks. Bitch, no, no. Meanwhile, in the second half of the field, Esposito beating Weber with the all-wheel drive hacks, most likely. Go him, I guess. Hey, that gives Rossi a one-point advantage over Mueller. Cool. So, second round complete, cars up to level 2, we'll most likely end this at level 3, because yeah... That's usually how this goes. By usually, I mean that's how this has been going. Throughout these manufacturer races. Manufacturer section races. Anyways, time for race 3, oh god, this is gonna be difficult. No, it's the short circuit, okay, I thought it was the club circuit. That was about to be very, uh, not happy, but the short circuit's more manageable. Turn one, I usually can go around there a lot faster than them. Transition, I can maybe do some stupid outbreaking shit. And, uh, sunset bend, I can probably, if I hit the corner right, I can definitely gain time there as well. So... I have some pretty advantageous spots here. Let's see if I can actually take advantage of them and win. My first try would be nice as well. Because, you know, less editing and all that shit. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Also inside the car we go. Because that's, that's that time of the segment. Turn one. Oh, kind of swept out wide there because I saw Rossi hit the brakes. Or tap the brakes some more. Oh, I'm locking him up. Diving under Rossi. Didn't quite clear him there. There we go, got the clear. And Rossi fell back another spot to Evans. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's giving Muller a... Uh, much lar larger than desired advantage. Okay, gotta get a really good run out of here. The mall corner, or whatever the hell that's called. Am I within slipstream range? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, and now I'm not. <laughs> that was short-lived. <coughs> yeah, throw it, please. Car, I need you to grip for me. That was a good apex. Right in the middle of the bend under the bridge. Oh, okay. That was good. Need to do more of that. And I'll have a fair shot at winning this. Let's get a good run through turn one, will definitely help as well. As it has. Oh, my neat. Not having to have to wait to Sunset Bend again. Oh, that was way too late on the brakes, and I locked him up. Too late and too much pressure. Oh well, at least I'm still right behind him, so overall, I only lost maybe like half a car length. very wide, but all that matters is the exit. Okay, stay tucked in. He's got the acceleration advantage. <clears throat> okay, breaking a little earlier than I wanted to, just to avoid hitting the back of Mueller's car. Gave him the lightest tap there. 
Now you know that's all it takes to break these freaking lights. Damn it. I had a really good shot there. Kind of pissed on it. Vroom car, yes, Q. Vroom car, indeed. Oh, I do not want to go for this on the outside, but I have no choice. Oh, contact. Still door to door. More contact. Actually got some damage from that one. Apparently that uh, upset Muller's car. Okay. Yes, the RS4 is facet. Yeah, my car is blue. It's a very nice shade of blue as well. Like, look at this shade of blue. Looks damn good. Well, I can't really see it in that light, but it looks damn good. <laughs> car is blue. I must ask, have you ever went fast? God damn it, Q. No. Okay. Around the bend one more time. Oh, that was that was my best uh, corner yet. That was the three times around there. Okay. First try! Fuck yeah! That was a good one. Was a good one indeed. Gonna wait on Johansson and Spears because, you know, slower cars. Apparently, Spears just cannot drive that E30. And then again, he can't really drive anything. And he only picks the slow cars, too. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Okay, one race to go. Cars level 3. More discounts. Yeah, Rossi best car finishes third because frickin' Mueller has all-wheel drive. Hacks, therefore, his car is actually better despite the lower PI. All-wheel drive makes a huge difference in this game. That's why, like, all the leaderboard cars in hot lapping were, if they weren't all-wheel drive, like, out of the factory, they got all-wheel drive swapped. Like, I think one of the top S-Class cars in either this or Forza 4, maybe both, was an all-wheel drive Viper. That was a thing. That was very much a thing. So yeah, all-wheel drive is very OP in this game. Especially just at the launch. You just fucking go at the launch. Fucking Amalfi, oh boy. Alright. Is this the reverse, or is this normal? Normal, okay. We're good. All-wheel drive Viper sounds effective. Plus, another advantage all-wheel drive has is the all-wheel drive swap actually lowers the PI of the car. So you can, so you get the advantage of the all-wheel drive, plus you can actually upgrade it more than if it was only two-wheel drive. So, you know. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, we're adding weight to the car, which means it's going to be slower, so let's just lower the PI on it or something, I don't fucking know. At least I'm guessing that's their logic. Meanwhile, I see Muller and Evans duking it out back there. For third place, e E46 versus E92. But that's not my focus. My focus is on this yellow fucker in front of me. Okay, this is the spot where part of the track where I'm faster than them. Plus, I can always go for a stupid dive into this hairpin. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> like, I was trying to lay back as much as possible, and still, that happened. Oh god, the brakes. There's the front end damage I was expecting.
Almost got the crossover on him. Fucking hell, Muller. Fucking... He's fucking sandbagging these turns, I swear. No, we have not yet been to Maple Valley full. Much to Q's dismay. I think that's the only track we haven't yet been to, because we've done Road America. Like, other than the special tracks that have their own section in the event list, I think Maple Valley Full is the only track we haven't been to yet. Actually, and the Nürburgring. I forgot about the Nordschleife. I don't think we've been to that yet, either. Oh, fucking hell. Wow, alright. Well, I almost got the pass, but then, uh... Moore is a fucking dick right now. Moore's been a dick throughout this entire race, fucking sandbagging these turns, so I hit him and shit. I don't appreciate it, Mr. Moore. Oh, hey, Johnny. Oh, fuckers. There we go. Got the run. Got the preferred lane. And got the pass done. This time I'm staying in front of you, jackass. One lap to go. You know, Evans is still holding off Rossi for third. So I think Rossi's gonna miss his 11th podium of this LP, which is by far the most out of all the uh, the top drivers, you know, between him, Davis, and uh, Sasaki. Poor Rossi. I say poor Rossi, but you know. You know, I'm just kind of casually pulling away from Muller now. That took the lead. He gave up. Maybe he wasn't sandbagging. Maybe he's just shit at these corners. Okay, do not touch that tire barrier. There we go. We win. Hooray. Squeaky chair. Okay, so... Race 1 at Silverstone was goddamn awful. Every other race was uh, actually not that bad. I'm a little bit surprised at that. But at the same time, I'm not. I don't know. And hey, Evans did beat Rossi. Way to go. Alright. Oh, there's the final points. Spears got shut out in his E30. Because Spears is shit. Money, some extra XP for the car, but no level up. I'm gonna have a lot of fucking level three cars here. And by gonna have, I mean I have a lot. I have a lot of fucking level three cars here. So there we go. More credits, and the next race of the R2 Championship the is unlocked Championship. in the season play. Guess what we'll be doing in the next segment. So yeah, there we go. That was the uh, Audi versus Bimmer thing. So, two round six of our two championship we go in the next segment. So with that, stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport 3.